Hey there everybody, my name is James and this is West Tennessee Living. Appreciate you stopping by the channel. Today I want to talk about the rigid uh, storage boxes, toolboxes, whatever you want to call them. As you can see, I'm a fan. <laughs> Not only a fan, but I'm a user of them. Uh, I use these tools every day. I use these boxes every day. Uh, if you look on my channel, I've actually went and did a special video on the rigid ice chest. I'll put a link on the, at the end of this video if you want to go watch that. Uh, I love the boxes. I think they're great. And really uh, what I wanted to do is jump on here and talk about the newest addition is the drawer box. And uh, this is kind of a first impression. I literally just bought this thing. I haven't even opened it up yet. The tag is still on it. Uh, I, I just finally found one from Home Depot uh, at my local store. Uh, we have a very small Home Depot. Availability is not great. So they finally got some in, and uh, I got down there and bought it. Before I get into this box, I want to I want to share a resource with y'all first. Um, most everybody has Facebook, I'm sure. I've got Facebook. This is going to be shared to Facebook. If you haven't thought about it, it would do you some good to check out some of these group pages. Case in point, there is a rigid group page. It's not an official. Uh, thing from rigid there's no official rigid people on there that i know of as far as like sales or the company or whatever but there's people from all across the country that love and use these tools they know the ins and outs of them i have personally got on there and asked all kinds of questions this box specifically uh, i tried buying it on the internet high and low i looked everywhere every link every picture could not find a place to buy it so i got on the facebook rigid fan page and um uh, I said, hey, you know, all you fellas are uh, showing pictures of these boxes. How do I get one? I can't find it anywhere. And I had two or three fellas that said, hey, you have to go to the store. Here's the SKU number. They gave me the number. Give this number to the, uh, to the online pickup counter person, and the box will be in a no home section that every store has four of them. I mean, he told me how to do it, where to do it, when to do it. It was super helpful. So there's a resource out there. Uh, that people can use. I don't know if you've ever tapped into it. Try it out. Get on Facebook. There's a lot of help on there. I'm on a uh, I'm on a rigid fan page. I'm on a tough built tools fan page. Uh, matter of fact, there's a fan page. I, I, I drive a, a 1998 Dodge Dakota, and there is a fan page for that specific make and model truck. And there's people on there that know a lot of a lot of things about their products. They love them. They work on them. Try out some of them resources and uh, see if it's a help to you. Now, all that being said, sorry for wasting time. Let's get into the box. Well, that's a pretty deep drawer right there. I like that. Got these little dividers in it. You can take in and out. It even has that, that new box smell. <laughs> that, uh, those, uh, the sliders on that seem to be really nice. I don't know. Yep, it's ball bearings. Ball bearing. I was gonna, it feels like a kitchen drawer. It uh, looks like you could even pop them out just like a kitchen drawer if you wanted to. Yep, you can slide that right out of there. Boy, that's pretty slick. Looks like that's the same side. Ooh, what's this? Uh, PG XL drawers, dividers. Oh, so this is a, so a whole bunch of little pieces in there. So I guess these are the, these are dividers that you can actually slip down yeah just like that wasn't that nice oh yeah look at there so you can here's long ones that go from front to back so you can slide them in there and then there's these little ones that you can break apart and put them in sideways see like that right there you can pull them out man this clip in there really good what a nice box I'm pretty happy with that. This is my, my very first uh, experience with one of these boxes. I will say this. I bought a drawer box for my buddy uh, from DeWalt. And I, I played with it for a little bit you know, before I gave it to him. It seemed pretty nice. But I, I hate to say it, but right off the bat, this actually seems like it's built a little tougher. I mean, these drawers seem really heavy duty. I like the way that clips. I'm not overly fond of the handle on top. The handle is, it, it's really shallow. You can't can't really fit your fingers in there too well. It does look like, sounds like the rain's picking up a little bit. I hope you can still hear me. Uh, it does look like uh, 
the top here has the slots in it for the 2.0 boxes. See how that works. Yep. So that slips on there. That slips on there. That's pretty slick. I like that. You clip those on and off there. Feels like these latches are really tight. Seems like a really well made box. Something else that I, I talked to the guy about um, who got this box down from the, the shelf for me. This box also fits on the new cart. Um, when you buy the, the new big Pro Gear 2.0 box with the lid that comes up, it comes with a detachable cart and wheels. I don't know if you have to buy that separately or not. I, I, I don't know. I haven't got into that yet. I personally am not a huge fan of the wheels. Uh, my big box, this one here, this is the older one, and it has the wheels and the handle on it. I'm not, it's not real giddy about it. You know, you, you, you might have great use for it. I, I, I don't really. But this supposedly fits down in that cradle uh, that you can clip into. But uh, I don't know. First impressions, I really like it. I'm digging it. I did see on the fan page that there was a guy, uh, somehow he retrofitted it. And what he did, he took the big box out. And he put, he had one box that had two deep drawers. And he had one box that had two shallow drawers. So I don't know if there's a mechanism in there that you can switch them out. I haven't even dug into that yet. So that is a, I'm assuming it's, it's doable somehow. But anyway, that's the new uh, Pro Gear uh, System 2.0 from Rigid Flatter Box. I like it. I think it's going to be great. Man, you could use it for mechanic tools. You could use it for hand tools. Uh, you know, you can, I'm sure you could fit hammers and stuff in there. I was actually thinking about using this bottom drawer for like some of the drills that I use, like like right off the bat. Uh, there's a couple of drills that I always are my kind of my go-to. I thought about putting those in there and then making one of these. I don't know if a battery would fit in there or not. Let, let me look. Battery fit in there. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Well, not very well. It does fit in there. Um, it does seem to kind of catch. But the thin battery would definitely fit. Like this right here. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. So you could actually, I'd, I, I'd thought about using it for putting my drills, you know, my, my go-to drill in the bottom of that, a couple other pieces, and you know, putting some of the thin batteries in there, and then, you know, making the top with all the dividers, making that like a bit box. It has all my favorite bits, maybe some screws or whatever in that. That was just my thought, but hey, you can do whatever the heck you want. Um, it's a free country. That's what I like about it. All right, man. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in the channel. If this has been a help to you at all, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, share it with your friends. Share it with some rigid people. Uh, check out the Facebook fan pages. They've been a real help to me. Uh, of course, you may be one of the guys that knows everything anyways, and you don't need no help. <laughs> I'm not that guy. I need help. So if it's a resource that would be a blessing to you or help to you, go check that out. Again, my name is James. This is West Tennessee Living. Thanks a lot for stopping by the channel. We'll see you next time.